This has been a heavily requested video in the past 24 hours. I think that this was brought to light because of Brian's YouTube video that he made about it. I will share the original video below. But this is a video discussing my reaction to Meriam Habach's Miss Venezuela 2016's latest interview where she shares a few thoughts about me placing versus her at Miss Universe 2016. I've talked about this before, I've shared a little bit about my thoughts and opinions on this topic with you. Some of you may have seen it, some of you may have not, but my overall thing about who places at Miss Universe is that it doesn't rest solely on what a woman's body looks like. If you have two women competing for the title of Miss Universe, one is slim, thin, whatever words you want to describe. I guess more of the traditional mold of a Miss Universe contestant versus maybe someone like me who is a little bit not as thin. I don't know what words to use because I know some people say full figured and I just, I hate that term. I just don't like it. I think it's silly. And as many of you know, like I'm a size six, size eight. I am not plus size. I am not full figured, whatever that even means, but I am just not the typical figure that you see at Miss Universe and as you maybe heard in this interview if you saw it that some of these women like Medium to have the body she had she killed herself in the gym for six hours a day and ate greens and fish and that's all she ate and I've been there if you watch my journey at Miss Supernational I was a lot skinnier and I was I was not myself I was not myself trying to be that and some people will say well that's what it takes it takes discipline but to me miss universe is about representing women of the world and being confidently beautiful that's what miss universe stands for that's what miss universe is about it's about being confidently beautiful within yourself and maybe in the past it was more about a certain physical figure a certain physical look a certain facial look but it's not about that anymore that's not what miss universe is about in this anymore in 2019 and 2020 we have finally got to a place where it's more about celebrating diversity celebrating our differences celebrating different views of beauty and beauty is not just being a size zero a size two i believe the essence in the interview is that they were saying or medium was saying that i placed because they wanted to show case a different type of beauty and that the only reason I placed was because I was full figured. Now I have seen some of the comments on Brian's video. I want to share one. One was from Shin Chan and Shin said, what I hate is most people say, just like Medium, that she placed only because she was not skinny. But the truth is that she must have nailed her interview and her confidence during the prelim was on point. So I do want to proudly say that I won the best in in interview at Miss Supernational. So I know I am confident in my interview skills. I know that I... I'm confident I had a good interview at Miss Universe. Someone else said this just reflects, this was sorry, Shinjen Bara said this just reflects why Miriam didn't place while Sierra has uplifted and inspired millions across the world, thank you, to embrace themselves and has always, ha always uplifted others while Miriam is busy demeaning others. Someone else said Sierra deserves it not just because she's full, not because of figures at all. She is an empowered woman that can inspire others. Someone else said this was Kadorna. In fairness to Sierra, she placed high in other pageants even when she was skinny. So skinny or not, she definitely deserved her placement. Someone else said this is Carlito Cadente. Said it is not just about your body and looks on the outside. MUO judging is also about personality and attitude. Who knows? Canada nailed the interview and which is why she got the high placement part of the competition. Welcome, Lily. So that is something that I do want to say. Okay, this person, Laughing Buddha, said Sierra's proven herself long since to be one of the most inspiring women to compete in beauty pageants. <gasps> Thank you, that's so nice. She's truly an exception to the previous rules of the game. Thank you so much. That Stuff like that means so much to me. And I do want to say that we did not see women who were not slim, maybe fuller figures, whatever you want to say, women with my body shape. We did not see women like me placing at Miss Universe. But I do believe that I, 
I deserve that placement beyond my body because I believe that Miss Universe as an organization has come to realize that beauty is beyond size. Beauty is in so much more than what we look like and that is the direction we're seeing with the Miss Universe organization and if someone like Medium doesn't agree with that, then they shouldn't compete at Miss Universe or try to compete at Miss Universe. So win Miss Venezuela to go to Miss Universe because if you are gonna compete in something, you should believe in it. And I know what Demi Lee, Miss Universe 2017, one of her favorite quotes is, if you believe in something, believe in it all the way. So if you believe in diversity of beauty, if you believe in the Miss Universe slogan of confidently beautiful, then you should believe in it all the way. Hold on. What's this? Oh, pull it out. A lot of you want to know my honest opinion about Medium and what she was like behind the scenes. And to be honest, I believe that she didn't place because of her attitude behind the scenes, because of the way she treated people, because of the way that she treated volunteers, fellow contestants. And this is not me trying to share rumors or anything. There are actual videos, photos of her pinching the back of the arm of Miss Columbia, stepping on people's dresses, treating volunteers at the Miss Universe competition with disrespect. I know there was a situation where she wasn't gonna wear one of the designer's gowns, one of the Filipino designer gowns, because she she didn't like it or I forget. It was a very dramatic, very dramatic situation. She tried to switch the dress, I think, with a fellow contestant. They didn't get to wear it. It was a whole schmazzle. I don't wanna give the incorrect details, but I will tell you it was very dramatic. There were girls crying. It was a lot. And um, yeah, I'm not gonna go on and on because I do not want this video to be about bashing her. I want it to be about sharing that Miss Universe, what? Miss Universe and other pageants, I believe, are starting to realize that they need to use their platform to celebrate women and not show that show that there's only one mold for women to fit to be successful at their competition because we're seeing i believe more and more people around the world who feel like you know what i can potentially that if people see more diversity they are going to be uplifted and feel more confident in themselves because they see themselves represented and some people might then say you know i believe that miss universe is only about having a certain face look, a certain hair type, a certain skin type, a certain body type, and I guess that's their opinion. I believe, and I know a lot of you believe, that Miss Universe is about showcasing diversity and the beauty of women around the world and showcasing different types of beauty. We might all not have the same opinion about what we think is beautiful and that's fine, it's just <laughs> I really believe and feel like Miss Universe should be a representation of women of the world and if that means if being beautiful means going to the gym or as the interviewer said killing yourself in the gym for six hours a day eating fish and greens like if that's what being beautiful means to you then I guess that's what it means and maybe that shows a very hard work ethic for some people but to me that is not what being beautiful and being confident means like i said i've been there and i have never felt more self-conscious and felt the least confident i've ever felt in my life is when i was being super strict with what i was eating working out excessively and i was more slim slender thin you guys have seen it if you've seen me videos and pictures of me and my other pageants and I might have looked confident but inside I was so self-conscious comparing myself to the other girls I didn't feel worthy I didn't feel enough and I was doing what people probably thought was the thing to do to try to compete at a high level and potentially be Miss Universe I'm sure there was some level of showcasing diversity with my placement at Miss Universe. I don't want to totally deny that, but I do want to say that I am confident with how I was in interview and I believe that the fact that I was at the time a law student, now a law graduate, I had had many achievements, I have had many achievements in my life. I believe all of that as well spoke and meant something to the judges, to the Miss Universe organization, and it wasn't just about my body. I want to end this video on a positive note and say thank you all so much for your endless support i've seen so many of your comments on brian's video and it just makes my heart so happy knowing that so many of you are so supportive and kind and that you see all of this as something beyond being a physical beauty 
if that makes sense. I don't know how to put it into better words, but a lot of you seem to see and recognize just like me that beauty is beyond what we look like. Maybe that was something more traditional in the Miss Universe world, but times are changing, times have changed. And so to see that all of you recognize that and that you believe in me and that you believe that I placed for more reasons beyond IMG, MUO making a statement. It just makes me feel so happy that you have that confidence in me. So thank you all so much. I cannot say thank you enough for your support, your kindness, your comments. It means so much to me. So I thank you so much and I will see you guys in the next video.